Maddie, and today I'm going to do something very different. As you can see, I have a mat, like a yoga mat with me, and I, not if you guys know this, but I am actually training to be a contortion right now. So, um, I'm going to show you some of the stretches that I do, and how I like, just do these, and kind of in the instructions. I got inspired by Sophie Dossi. She's like unbelievably flexible. So I just got inspired by her and I decided to do you know, stretches for um, beginners of the cushion, cushion. So yeah, I'm just excited to show you what I can do. So the first stretch that I like to do is just this stretch to go like this. Try to touch as far as you can. Make sure you don't hyperextend to where you can't do it because I don't want you guys to hurt yourself. And um, this is a video, so do, like, make sure that you're very careful with this. And if you're not, if you're not uh, familiar with me, like if you're not familiar with flexing and stretching every day. And if you're not flexible, then you, this you should probably just go ca carefully on. So yeah. So the next thing that I like to do is call I call it the downward dog. So I go like this, and then also I like to do this. I'm almost there. I can almost touch my head with my feet, but it's just super fun to do. And yeah, another thing. That I like another stretch, my last stretch on um, like this, like to do is like that. So you touch your knee to your head and then go up. So you can do it low if you want to make it a better stretch. So here's how I do it. So put your head down if you want a better stretch and then put it to your ear and then just go up. And then so the another stretch that I like to do is actually like a super fun stretch, I think. So let me just into it. Hopefully you guys can see this. Daddy, yeah, you can. I'm just gonna back up a little bit. So you get into your bridge. If you don't know how to bridge, uh, if you don't know how to do a bridge, I'll show you right now. So put your hands like this. So put them backwards, and then your knees in a sit-up position. Your legs, I mean, in a sit-up position. Just like do some sit-ups, and then just. Spread your legs apart a little bit, and then just push up like this. And then just, I like to do that. I like to tuck in my head after doing a bridge, because that just gives me like a way better stretch, and it just helps a lot, a lot. So I like to do that. So then I get to go in onto my other station. So this is my mat that I've used for tum tumbling. So all I use this for is for cartwheels and round knocks because it has an incline in it. So when you do it, it gives you a better stretch and better work workout. So yeah, I just like to do that. And no, I'm not a gymnast, so I don't do this very well, but that's why I have the hiccups right now. So it's harder on this mat, so I'm gonna do it on the floor. Yeah, make sure. Okay. I used to be a gymnast, so I kind of know like what to do. This is just one last stretch that I like to do. And so yeah, I just like to do a bunch of stretches. And then if like I feel like I need more stretches on my cartwheels, this is what I do. If my legs need to get farther apart and like better, I just do this. And then this. A 
attached. And also, just I like to do some with cats in between. So you know, just some different things. I suck at Randolph's, but I'm good. I like to do a handstand in the middle of my cardio because it's just like very fun. So, yes. the Z because it goes like this. Like that. So I have to be. So here we go. Like that. And this is just some like torsion, contortion moves for beginners that I do and definitely I'm not a contortion yet. Not really even close. Um, but it's just stuff that I do to help. So yeah.